the Las Vegas Raiders. This is Chris's other favorite team, right? The group. It was going to be before John got there. They went seven and nine last year. Their win total, as it sits right now, seven and a half to go over is minus one twenty to go under is minus one ten, and that's uh, that's over at Bet Online. You can find the odds over at sbrodds.com. to win the division. They are plus nine hundred. I found that to be a little short. It's it's a little. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I think I, all I three of these teams, on. the Broncos were plus 800. I think they're all the same. I think it's going to be the Chiefs, and everybody else is going to have the same odds. If I had to guess, knowing that they're 900 and the Broncos were 800, I would bet the Chargers would be plus 1,000. Uh, Chargers are actually plus 800. Okay. So, so that's going to be all, within 100 points of one another is what I would have assumed all of those odds are going to be because it's the Chiefs, and these three knuckleheads are no different than one another. Yeah, yeah. Uh, John Gruden enters his third season. Offensive yards per play last year, 5.9. That was number eight in the league, which uh, surprised me. Surprised me. Yep. No, not, not me. I thought they would be good offensively. Defensive yards per play, they gave up 5.9. That was number 26 in the league. So, yeah, definitely not good on defense last year. Uh, turnover mm-hmm. margin, minus .1. They gave up .1 turnovers per game. They were number 21 in the league. That's Josh, chucky football, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Josh Jacobs. Breakout star last year, uh, played insanely well. They drafted Henry Ruggs. They uh, they signed Mariota as a free agent to kind of, you know, give them options on offense, right? You know, they've got Hunter Renfro. they got other guys, right? Um, they brought in free agents Littleton, uh, Nassib, uh, let's see, who else? Uh, Collins, Witten, et cetera. You know, they, they brought in, they, these guys, Gruden and Mayock, are constantly wheeling and dealing. Like, they're, they're just... Moving guys in and out, this and that. And I was really excited about this. I had to scratch out one of my notes because I was excited about Lynn Bowden, right? And and they trade him over the weekend to the Dolphins for a fourth. Like, they took him with the third-round pick, and they traded him and a sixth-rounder for a fourth-rounder, which I don't think it says anything good about Bowden. Uh, if they're willing to to give up on him before the season even begins, but like I I loved Lim Bowden at Kentucky. That is that is not a that is not a good sign. I mean he's a, he's a utility knife, man. I I love that guy, but that, that's definitely not a good sign if you're giving up you know him and a pick for you know a lower pick than what you drafted him with. But uh, if Derek Carr or Mariota can improve, this team can be a surprise this year. Uh, it, they they played well on offense last year, but they had trouble scoring in spots. And then the defense, I mean, you got to find something to do with that. They have rebuilt this roster okay. But I, I don't think they're, you know, one, you play in a division with the Chiefs, so you're already in trouble with that. Um, but on the other side, like, I, this is just an average football team. And, I, I mean, I've got them with the most average record you can have, and that's 8-8, eight and eight, and that's improving a game. Um, I, I think they're going to be okay. But I, I don't see anything on defense that really makes me think that they've got a shot either to win the division or to even make the playoffs this year. I got them six and ten. I don't think this team's going to be great. I don't think they're going to be a doormat. I think they're going to be competitive in games. I think John Gruden, in game coaching and play calling, is actually pretty inventive and creative and really good. I actually like Mike Mayock a lot as as a GM and and a, and a personnel guy. He he's really good at his job. I think he's handcuffed a little bit by things that John wants to do because we know that John's making a hundred percent of all the decisions. You you don't get to be a hundred million dollar, 10 year contract coach without having all control. Um, I just, I don't, I don't see where it's coming from. They're not good enough on defense to, to, to stop people and win ugly. And they're not good enough on offense to outscore teams. I think they're going to win some games. I think they're going to be competitive in some games, but I think they're going to lose more than they win. I think six and 10 is the number. Okay, that, I mean, that makes sense. Uh, McKinnon jumps in. He said, uh, as much grief as Carr gets, statistically, he's one of the best quarterbacks in the league, easily top 10. He's smart, works his ass off, and while he doesn't have a big arm, he does have an accurate arm. Okay, I mean, I, look, I'm not going to say that he's awful. Like, that's, he's definitely not that. I don't know that he's one of the, one of the best in the league. Uh, I just... The only way I know to describe him, he's a poor man's Matt Ryan. He's just got a guy that's really that's, boring. Wow, that's he, a he's really probably good, way good to but he's not great, and he doesn't get you off the couch ever. Yeah, that's a good way of putting that. That's definitely a good way of putting that. So he's he's not going to be the reason they lose games, but he damn sure ain't going to be the reason they win a lot of games either. That's a valid point. 
That is a very valid point. I feel the same way about Matt Ryan. Yeah. Matt Ryan will never cost his team a game. But but he also isn't going to be the reason they win a lot either. That's true. That okay. I, I like uh, I like your synopsis there. That's that's pretty good. Uh, Matt Miller said Rogues better play well right away because they have receiving weapons. Yeah, they got a lot of guys. I mean, they they got a ton of guys. You know, two good tight ends, a uh, bunch of skill position guys. Josh Jacobs at running back. They they got dudes. They got dudes. The biggest but, problem with Rugs is going to have is pressure. Pressure being the number one receiver taken in a league in which. <clears throat> excuse me, CeeDee Lamb and Ju- uh, J- uh, Jared Judy went behind him. And, and if both of those guys get out hot, talk is going to start about was Ruggs a bust? Even yeah. if he's good, even if he's fine, he's going to be compared to those two other guys. In every ranking, every person that watched the combines, every person that evaluates talent had him substantially third behind those two gentlemen. And and if they come out balling, it's and that's not his fault. It ain't, it ain't just like it. It wasn't wasn't uh, Daniel's fault. Daniel Jones's fault that he got picked. You know, fourth Sixth. overall. Yeah, it, it, it's not his fault. But that's the pressure he's going to have to live up to. That is true. That is true. All right, let's move on from them. 